how to build an automated sales workflow sequence with Dub. In my opinion, automation is the final frontier of sales because it allows us to take our content and to maximize the impact that we have with a larger audience. And it's not just about a one-time campaign send, like an email newsletter or an SMS blast. In fact, it's an automated sequence. So when someone engages with us, when some sort of a smart activity happens, a workflow that we've built gets triggered and gives them a sequence of content, emails, SMS, you know, updates in their contact profile in the Dub CRM. So there's a lot of really intelligent things that can happen when we build and deploy automated workflows. It's very easy to create an automated workflow. All you need is a couple of videos, the ability to write, and some sort of a smart way to engage or track your context and your buying flow. What I'd like to first start with, which is the problem. So one-to-one -one sales is highly personal, but not, number one is efficient, number two is immediate, and that's a big one, and number three, my favorite word, is scalable, right? So when we think of one-to-one -one sales, it's definitely not efficient. It is very personal though. We can all admit on that. It's not necessarily immediate. And what I mean by that is if someone sends us an email, if they fill out a form, if they do some sort of a smart action, like watch a video or click on a call to action, we might not be able to manually get back to them. You know, and of course, the whole idea of immediacy in sales is a massive thing. There's a lot of data that shows that if we reach out to a prospect within five minutes, the chances of closing that deal increase dramatically. And I think the reason why that's the case is because people like good customer service. They like to have the idea and the belief and the confidence and the trust that, hey, when they're gonna reach out, raise their hand, express interest, that a real human being is going to reach out to them, okay? And then scalable, once again, my favorite word, you can have a thousand, you can have a million people in an automated workflow. This is how the biggest companies on the planet grow. It's through scalability. So the solution, of course, is to build automated workflows to get more connections, conversations, and conversions, more C's for you guys. What is Dub? Well, you guys know by now that Dub is the sales operating system that lets you record and share video, track the client journey, manage your contacts, and now, of course, what we're gonna be talking about is the sales and marketing automation to get more sales conversions. So here's kind of our use cases on where we like to build automated workflows. So prospecting, the follow-up, the nurturing, client communication, testimonials, and then ultimately getting referrals. So the first idea is when you're prospecting, there are ways, in fact, to automate your prospecting. Typically what happens is, you know, some sort of a manual reach out happens. It's a LinkedIn, it's an email, it's an SMS, and then maybe someone raises their hand and then there's a manual follow back. Let me, let me, uh, let's jump on a call, book a time on my calendar. Let me send you a quick email. Um, the way to automate this in prospecting is to use tags in contacts. And I'll explain that more. Next one is, is follow-up. Let's say that you have not yet heard back from a prospect. Let's say that you sent them a proposal and you sent them some sort of high value piece of content and they haven't reached back out. Well, you can do one of two things, one of three things really. Number one is to just ignore it and hope that they get nurtured somehow and come back. Number two is to manually do some sort of a reach out. And then of course, number three is to trigger an automated workflow. And this can be something that's time sensitive. You know, if, if the contact has not done X, Y, Z within one week, then uh, let's send this follow-up video message. Or if they've clicked on a call to action, but they've not booked the time, let's send that SMS message. So there's a lot of things that we can do here. You know, nurturing is just about continuing to provide value, you know, providing, we always say, don't, don't do the follow-ups or don't do the, the nudges, um, nurture with value, nurture with content. So if you haven't heard back from them, they're probably not sold yet. They probably need to be more educated. So send them that YouTube video, send them that dub video, uh, send them a PDF, whatever works, whatever asset you have that has worked in the past, we encourage to nurture with this and to do it in an automated workflow. And then client communication, you know, this could be um, updates on the platform, updates on your solutions, your products, your services. You know, there are ways to create drip sequences for your existing clients. Um, yes, we want to get our clients to email us and to call us and to reach out. Um, and we want that. But if we already have the answers to their questions in content forms like YouTube videos or websites, web pages, and so on, 
um, wouldn't it be nicer to have them self-educate, self-serve with that content, and then to reach out to us when they really need that personalized help? So that's one of the reasons why we recommend doing automation for client comm. Um, testimonials, I mean, testimonials, we're huge evangelists of testimonials. In fact, you don't necessarily have to manually ask someone to leave a testimonial. You can do it when there's some sort of a positive action. Let's say that they completed something in your buying cycle. Let's say that some action took place. They closed a deal, they opened something. You know, you could trigger an automated workflow that sends them a video that says, hey, Thank you so much for working with me. It would mean the world to me to get a testimonial. And the last, of course, is referrals. Referral marketing is everything. As you guys probably know, Dub has built its growth plan on referrals. Referrals are the best type of marketing because they have like a 7x increase in conversion rates when someone is referred to someone else to buy. And I think the reason why that's the case is because of the validation, the social proof, Frankly, we don't wanna buy stuff unless our friends have bought it first and they've succeeded with it. So we don't wanna be the guinea pig, uh, most of us at least. There are early adopters. Um, I am one of those in some capacities, but most of the time I like to get a proven product, which is why I think when I buy something on Amazon, I go for the highest reviews. And we are gonna get into how to create all of these using automated workflows. So the first thing I wanna show is our, our spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet that we created for our drip sequence. Well, we're creating a new automated drip sequence, right? So we have a video for every day that someone signs up to Dub. We literally go through the entire sequence, the entire buying journey of what we want people to do um, in order to eventually subscribe to Dub. So we kind of created one column, which is the goal. You know, what is the title of the video? What is the feature that we're trying to focus on? What is the benefit? You know, benefits, not features, benefits, not features. What action do we want to get them to take? In this case, of course, it's upgrade to get the credit card. Um, what is uh, a couple other things? You know, is there a playlist video? Um, that's an additional secondary video that auto plays. And then, of course, we have a note section. So I think what's really important here is this idea of planning pre-production. So planning when it comes to video is something that I had to learn how to do. Um, I used to just grab my phone and just speak off the top of the dome and just see what would come out and then hopefully have an editor help me to kind of hone in on the message. And what I've really done a good job at is actually doing more planning. And one of the things that has really helped us is, is actually our, uh, uh, what do you call it, storyboarding. So here's our whiteboard here. And if you notice, we have these boxes where we fill these boxes out and each one of these boxes is a, is a storyboard. It's a clip, it's a burst, it's a piece of information that allows to us to record something without having to be stressed about memorizing or being able to say the whole thing. Now, the pro tip here when creating videos is the pause button. It's, it's honestly the magic button for us. Um, we've added that pause button to every, every place you can record a video, pretty much the Chrome extension, the desktop app, um, the Dub mobile app. The Dub mobile app is pretty advanced because you can record individual clips. So imagine recording in individual clips on the Dub mobile app. All of a sudden, you don't need to memorize an entire two to three minute uh, video. Instead, you can speak in bursts, and that's really important. What I'll do now is I'll kind of jump into an automated workflow here on Dub. Just a couple more minutes on this demonstration. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to create a workflow using the automation feature on Dub. That's in the left navigation. So create your title, and then create some sort of a trigger. Here you can notice there's a lot of different types of triggers. My favorite trigger is tag added. And the reason why I like tag added is because if you go to a contact on Dub, what happens is all you have to do is to add a new tag right here to their account. And if you add this tag, this can actually trigger an automated workflow. So imagine if you meet someone at a conference or if you connect with someone on LinkedIn, all you have to do is to go into your Dub mobile app, Dub website, add a tag to their name, and then this workflow that you've created will actually get triggered. So this is a very manual, automated way to do it, but it's a great way to start. The next thing you'll wanna do is to include the tag. So let's say it's my LinkedIn uh, connection tag. Once I make a connection with someone, I put this tag LinkedIn, right? And then once that happens, then I can actually build my workflow. So a workflow is typically how it gets triggered, and then is there some sort of an internal notification? Um, is there um, an email that you're gonna send out? There's a lot of different ways to manage this. So as you start to get practice using workflows, 
you're going to get more intelligent with the decisions that you make to create ultimately these decision trees. So there's if then branches, if they do this, then, then let's send them that. If they do that, then let's send them this. Create a deal. Like imagine if someone that is a high value, um, top 100 uh, prospect just raised their hands that says, hey, I'm interested. You can tag that and you can make it so that a deal in, in Dub actually gets automatically created. Because if you can track your goals, you can accomplish your goals. Everyone says in productivity and, and sort of leadership and goal management that if you wanna get something done, you have to write it down. And a deal board, which I can talk about later, is in fact a great way to do that. So the next time you're gonna get that you know, $100,000 deal, make sure you add that deal to your CRM or to the Dub deal section. Because once again, if you see it on a page, um, the chances of accomplishing it are much higher. Creating a task. Let's say that someone connects with you on LinkedIn and now the task is to follow up with an email or to give them a phone call. Create a task. Um, add a delay. Sometimes we wanna put a one hour, one day, one week delay in there. Send an internal notification. Let's say someone fills out a form, a dub form, and then that's gonna trigger some sort of an automated sequence. Let's get an internal notification so that we know someone did that. Um, let's remove a tag. Let's say that we have a tag called prospect. Let's actually take that tag out now that someone has um, become a deal and become a real opportunity. Um, let's send a campaign. This is email. This is SMS. Let's trigger this automated uh, drip sequence. Many of you guys have signed up for Dub and actually seen our automated workflow. All that is using Dub. We don't use a third party platform for that. We started out using HubSpot. What we realized was that if we consolidated everything into our own platform, not only are we drinking our own Kool-Aid, but you know we're doing it in the most efficient way, and of course using video. And then of course update stage. This is the deal stage, the life cycle stage. Like is it uh, the beginning, is it the middle, is it the end? So creating a workflow does require some experience. We recommend that you do some, some research on this. Um, there are some coaches. If you are interested in a coach that can help you build some of this, just put a message in the chat here, um, leave a comment. Um, sky's the limit on this. The last piece is the launch. And there's really a couple of switches here. Number one is only trigger the contacts once, which means you know, if something happens on a secondary level that they don't receive this whole drip sequence all over again, because that might be a little bit obnoxious. And then of course, do you wanna turn this thing on? So once you're done building and iterating, you can turn it on, you can turn it back off if you have to make edits. You know, hopefully I simplified that. You know, what I think we're talking about here is taking a message and then figuring out ways to intelligently track the customer journey and then trigger automated sequences, automated emails, automated SMS, automated activities in the CRM um, to ultimately to get more of those C's, to get more connections, more conversations, and more sales conversions. Mm -hmm.